not quite 20,000 leagues under the sea, but it's certainly the biggest and most ambitious underwater project yet mounted. Ten years of research into life under the oceans, involving over 2,500 scientists from 80 different countries. It's all about reminding people that most of our planet is water and what happens there is crucial. That's where life originated. We, are, we come from the ocean in deep sense. And uh, second, uh, we take a lot of food from the ocean. Every s second breath we breathe, the oxygen was produced in the ocean. Um, the ocean is a fundamental part of our life support system and we have to maintain it that way. When the data was sifted, researchers found 6,000 potential new species, including a giant lobster off the coast of Madagascar. But it's not all good news. The impact of human activity on sea life has been much worse than anyone realised. Shark numbers have dropped by up to 99% in some areas, while plankton, a crucial link in the food chain, is almost half as extensive as it was 50 years ago. The microbes are more important than the sharks and the big fishes because that's where it all starts. And so the whole base of the food chain is microbial. It works its way up eventually to the sharks and the fishes and so nothing in the oceans can function without them. The oceans do continue to function without the sharks and fishes, often not nearly as well, but nonetheless they can continue to, uh, to function in some capacity. So all are important, but the microbes are extremely important. There are some encouraging signs. Research suggests protected species are managing to survive. It's a key reminder that when they choose to take action, humans can also have a positive effect on life under the waves.